Hi, today I am going to do some cooking with the, uh, the beautiful fresh sockeye, wild sockeye salmon from Alaska. Here I already have filleted, pin bone out, skin off as you see it. And what I do, I'm going to pan sear this. Uh, if you pay attention, the, uh, most of you all that sockeye salmon is the driest of all. So I like to pan sear this. It's, it's, the reason is because pan sear, it only takes a minute for both sides. It's in and out seasoning. So that way you have a good seasoning, very tasty and moisty uh, uh, filet in it. And this is what I do by meaning pan sear. I go by fire that. What's the knife? The knife is slowly angle the knife 45 degrees and then I slice it slowly as you see and there this is this is about I would say a nice six ounce fillet after we're done with this. So again fire cuts, fire cut as you see as I angle it the knife 45 degree. It's the, uh, the salmon or the, uh, the sakai salmon that's already been being cut it. And now I'm going to put the seasoning, very light seasoning, which is they call it a little pinch of a black pepper and a little pinch of a kosher salt. And that's it. And then after I pinch it, I'll add on a little olive oil. So, so here we are. These are the pins here, uh, fresh sakai that I was talking about. Uh, alone, I make up a little uh, sesame rice with uh, cilantro infused. That's what I will use to serve this, this delicious uh, fresh sakai salmon. And then also, I am going to tease it up the plate. I will show you in a minute how this fish is supposed to be look. If you do this the way I do it, then you, are, then you have done it very well. Again, by many pens here, not very long, you look at the meat of the salmon. Look at the meat. It has a nice medium rare inside. Or at the very end, nice medium. And of course, the end, it's medium well. So, there. Here is my, uh, here is my Benchia salmon. It never goes wrong when you do Benchia salmon. Alone, I do a little bit of the, uh, the scallop. Uh, fresh sea uh, ocean scallop. Never been frozen. It's very fresh. And along with it, I like to top it with a little holiday sauce. As you see, I make up this holiday sauce. Most, most of you, there is holiday sauce available at the store. You just add on water and it's ready to use. And there you go. And then I'll top it with a little, little shines, as a little garnish, fresh shines, and a little hint of your extra virgin olive oil. And there is our final products.